needling technique, mostly the needle I use the most are uh, 30 millimeter point, uh, 0.16, which is a gauge number one in Japanese style. Most of the points we use are below the elbows and below the knees. And typically on a, on a lung, on a yin channel, on the arm, the energy is going this way. The direction of the channel is going this way. So she, she had a lung pattern. Remember, she had lung weak, spleen weak. So the tonification point for lung is lung nine. In Japanese needling, we want to be very uh, superficial. In Japanese, we always use pipettes. Pipettes were in, came into use in the 17, 1800s, and uh, Chinese may or may not use pipettes. All Japanese use pipettes. And we want to find our point. Now, here I want to tonify lung nine, okay? The channel goes this way. So my tonification is going to be in the direction of the channel. So first thing I do is I want to massage the point so that she comes to the point. I want she to come to that point anyway. I want to tonify it. In her case, very rarely do we go straight in. I'm going to pinch the skin. I'm going to pinch the skin. I'm going to do, I want to sort of find where, where the point is. So for me, her point is vortexing a little bit this way. That's good, Sam. This is called the uh, Oshida hand. The Oshida, the Oshida hand is going to feel the base of the needle, but it also provides support and comfort. So a strong Oshida hand gives the patient confidence. I hold the bottom of the pipette. The tapping in from the, from, from the top of the pipette to the top of the needle, about four millimeters. So my technique is just going to be to sort of I call it kissing it in. You just want to kiss it into the skin. I pull out, and now my left Oshida hand is holding that. Now, in Japanese, just the pressure of those two fingers brings chi to the needle. Uh, Shudo Denmai and others will twist and turn. Are you getting a good shot, do you think? No. Um, the Oshida hand is holding, and just that tension alone will create chi. Uh, Shudo Denmai, I'll twist and turn very fast. What I do is I, I press and release, press and release, and I'm going to try to direct my chi from my belly through my hands in the direction of the channel until it fills, and I'm going to let it fill all the way back up the baihui. And then when I'm done, I have to feel that the chi is filling the channel. And then I'm going to leave it in. So this is, you know, some Japanese would think this is too deep. Shudo likes to do it a little bit shallower. Did that hurt? Okay, so that's, that's how I would do that, that primary. And I would probably also do it on her, other, on her other, although we do try to distinguish whether both sides need to be treated or not. But in this case, I'm going to do it over here, just so you can see it again. We'll keep it up on her belly. Got a good shot? All right, so I want to feel where the point is, kind of identify its vortex. Sam's getting there. Massaging to bring chi to the point. I'm going to place my direction first, hold it with my, actually I'm going to pinch the skin, hold it, go in, Fill all the way from lung 11 to bai hui. Okay, leave it in. It might, it might seem to just flop in. Can you see the needle? It's kind of like white on white, but there you can see the needle here. Okay. A lot of times in uh, treating patterns, we'll treat the channel and its mother. Okay, so the mother of lung is spleen. 
Now for the spleen point, we can choose a spleen tonification point or we can use what's called a horary point. The horary point is the element of, the, of, of that point. So for the spleen, the earth point of spleen is spleen three. So we could use spleen three as the horary point, but spleen three, or we could use uh, its mother, spleen two, as its tonification point. So I'm going to reinforce the primary treatment. Here, here, Sam, come around. Actually, I'll do it here. You'll see it here. So I could choose either spleen two or spleen three. If I was to choose spleen two, I massage in the direction of the channel. Now, the in channels on the legs go from foot to head. So I massage, bring some chi to it. I want to find the exact point. So it's not about the anatomical location. It's sort of like on her where I can feel the hole, the shue. And I feel, and I feel its vortex. And, and these really bony points, I'm going to squeeze the skin, grab the pipette. I'm going to do a little flicking action, get it in. Oshita hand holds. Oshita hand, Dantian, I'm putting energy in, up the channel. And with my mind, I'm directing it to Bai Hui. Now that's me. I do that. That's not part of Kiriko Chirio. And what I do is I press and release, press and release, press and release. And I leave it in place. Okay. So that's spleen two here. I'll show you how I do spleen three on the other point. Should not hurt the patient. Did you feel anything? No. No. Gee. Okay, come around this way. Whenever my stomach rumbles during uh, treatment, that's when I know that there's chi. Uh, it moves it around. Oh, really? Yeah. That's good. I come around so you can look. Okay, you can see it here. All right, so I'm going to choose spleen three on this side. So I'm going to massage the meridian in its direction. I want to sort of feel the depth of the channel. I want to feel the chimney, seeing where the chimney's going. I do this with pressure and just see where the soft part leads me. That's where I want to put the, the needle. I, I place my pinky on. And the thing is, I want the pipette to go right where I feel the hole. So that's where I got to feel it and then place. In, in these bony areas, I'm going to squeeze some skin with that. I'm filling up spleen all the way up to bihui. And I, 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 I'm exaggerating here, but I press and let go, press and let go. Using my dantian to push the energy down, filling up. All right. And then go, give me a wide shot. Now, I want to um, go back and feel her pulse to see if large intestine had, if lung had changed. So there's a needle in place, but I'll still feel the pulse over the needle. So stomach spleen seems very robust now. And lung is better. It's not 100%. So how do I get it better? Well, I can put more chi into the needle or I can reinforce the treatment by choosing another lung point to treat. Let's try that. Let's talk about lung seven. Lung seven in the Chinese maps is on the top of the radial stylus. But in Japanese style, it's still on the meridian. Lung seven is here rather than here. Okay, come in close. So lung seven's here, not here. It doesn't go up and down. Lung seven in, in, in Japanese is still on the main tract, going from lung five to lung nine. Going to pinch. Now it looks like it's going the other way, that it's sedating, but I don't care. So my problem is I have to feel the lung position, even though there's a needle there at lung nine. Yeah, now the lung. Now the lung's up. So I had to reinforce that treatment, two needles in there, to do that. 
That's one way I, I would reinforce it. Okay, different needles. As you get closer to the elbow, we use deeper points. We go in deeper. For example, spleen nine, if I was to use, um, I would use a 40 millimeter needle and go in deeper. Now let's say she was having menstrual cramps. In the patterns, we see it's a lung deficiency pattern. So we treat the lung deficiency pattern. Uh, if she had menstrual cramps, I would check spleen nine or spleen eight, which is from TCM as my branch treatment, and then treat that. However, my treatment's not over. Once I correct the root treatment, I want to find out if, if, there, if there's still any excesses or deficiencies. First, I want to see, is there any deficiencies on the yin channels? So pericardium is okay. Spleen is okay. Lung is good. I'm checking the yin channels first to see if there's any deficiencies or excesses. Kidney seems a little excessive. Liver's a little weak. All right, liver's a little weak. But now I look at the yang channels, and what I'm really looking for is any yang excesses. Bladder's a little weak. Okay, stomach is a little excess. So I want to sedate uh, stomach excess. The sedation point for the stomach will be the sun point of the earth, which is the um, metal point. And the metal point is um, 41. But I could also choose 44, the fire point, and sedate that. Sometimes there's too much heat in the uh, stomach. Let me see your tongue. I think that's some heat in the heart. Sometimes there's heat in the stomach, and so sometimes I would choose to sedate the fire point in the stomach, which is 44. Let's do that. Here I want to go against the direction, place my needle, and now I have a clockwise, a counterclockwise intention to pull the chi into my hand from the stomach channel. I'll leave that in place, but I'm going to do it bilaterally. So it's less important whose needles you use as to what gauge are you getting the right size. These are just number one, 16s. Okay, so I go back again, check her pulses, see what's going on. My routine is to do the primary yin pattern first, see if there's any excess yangs, then go back and see if there's anything else I want to do. Seems okay. This is the, the root treatment, it's not the branch. Do you have any other complaints going on? Mm -hmm. I like it. 
itchy. You, you what? Are getting itchy? Usually it's itchy. Itchy. Plus she complained of stomach cramps yesterday. Not stomach cramps, leg cramps. Lung and large intestine are quite good. Stomach still excess. So stomach 44 wasn't enough. So let's sedate stomach 41. It's the wrong choice. 44 didn't really do it. Now, one trick of the of, of Toyahari especially is they'll go to the stomach pulse, which is excess. And I'll touch 41 and see if that brings down her excess. 44. This is how I know if the point will work. I'm feeling the pulse and I touch the point, see if it changes things. 41 on the left side changes her pulse. So let's do that. And here I want to sedate at 41. You all right? Sorry. That's thing. All right. Electrical. Electrical. And that brought down her stomach channel. So that's one way we tell which point to do is feel the pulse, touch the point, and see which one changes the pulse. It'll change it immediately. If you don't believe pulses relate to meridians, this is one way that'll prove it to you. You feel the excess or the deficiency, touch the point, and this is another way to find out uh, sidewise, unilaterally, if it's a unilateral treatment or a bilateral treatment. 